Hello guys, I am Joshua 600 and welcome back to more Indie Heroes Collection 2 cartridge here on the Evercade. So yeah, last time we did uh, the first four games of Game of the Month, well, um, what's it called? I don't think Anguna was the fourth one, but still. Um, we did four of the games of the month and this one we're going to do four more games of the month from 2022. So yeah, we're going to start with my least favorite, which is Gelatinous Humanity Lost. Um, of all nine games of the month, uh, this, I think, was by far my least favorite. <laughs> um, so yeah. You'll learn new abilities. You might even regain your humanity somewhere in this mysterious forgotten monument. Uh, it was made by the person who made Quest Arrest. Um... As it says there, you're almost powerless at the start of the game, and you can only you just have jump and attack. So, we're we're just gonna go in there. Actually, let, let's see if the manual has anything. Loading, loading. Before you unlock the ability to jump and attack, the only way to get around is to use your sticky body to roll up walls and across ceilings. Loading. I'll start the timer. Three, two, one. Let's pickle. Oh, there's a password? New. Okay. So yeah, you're your search you have a map, you grab the crystal, but suddenly Fall down the drain, there goes your hat. Will you ever get your hat back? That's the real question. Okay. I don't remember which way I'm supposed to go. Guys, I'm supposed to go this way. I died? Could I have gone anywhere? The controls are so janky. Game was saved, power up a team. Okay. So I'll make a save state. Because we did save the game. Takes a long time to to reload after you die. See like after right here, look, you're moving really smoothly, you jump, and then suddenly right here, this particular spot there's a lot of friction. It's really awkward. That's what I mean by janky controls. Oh, 
Whatever, I'm just gonna save state. Yep. I really don't want to play this. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I don't want to be playing this. I don't like this game. <laughs> but I will do it for a few more minutes. Oh my gosh. Like, I haven't even played three of the games yet, but I think this is the worst game. I think this is probably going to be the worst game on the cartridge. Not every game can be a winner. And unfortunately, this is, I think, the one that's not a winner. I don't want to keep bagging on this game, but it's like, the more I have to play it right now. Cause I need I need stuff to talk about, so I might as well just complain. Cause otherwise I'm not talking. <laughs> no. It could be really good. It just needs a se needs severe polish. Like this doesn't feel finished. I think that's that's my problem with it. Is it doesn't feel finished. What is that? Controls as simple as jumping are inconsistent. See, like, right there. What was that, like, two centimeter jump? That's where I came from. I just went through that brick. This... Why does it look like that? This is what I mean by polish. Could I do this without save states? Yes. Do I particularly want to? No. Is that a puppy? Will it kill me? Yes, it, it will kill me. Hey. Huh. That's great. A bat with weird movements that you can't fully see. Joshua, you're being too hard on this game. I'm pretty easy to please with most Evercade games, to be perfectly honest. So if there's a game I really don't like, then I have then I'll be complaining about it. And this is one of them. And for what it's worth, I really liked Quest Arrest. I did a full playthrough of that game too. Hey. 
Sorry, I got a Discord DM just looking at the notification briefly. Power up a tame. Now I can shoot, I bet. Uh, hooray, we're already at nine minutes, so. No, I can I have a sword, though. I don't know how, like, my sword didn't kill, but... See, look, I should be safe right here. But no, my hitbox is therefore inside the wall. And that's dumb. If your hitbox is inside the wall, what's the point of having uh, a wall there? You should be able to line yourself up with the wall jump, especially if an enemy stops at the wall, you should be able to jump parallel to the wall, and the enemy should not be able to touch you. Th that's what I mean. Stuff like that really bugs me in this game. Oh my god. And also, that, that square, that thing is one tile too high. If it was just one tile shorter, because you have to make it in one swoop. You can't just jump and then stop. You have to make it in one swoop. So if you do stop, though, ugh, you can just, well, you, I guess you can just barely make it, but still. Okay, well, we're at, we're, we're at 11 minutes. So once I get to the next save point, I'll stop. I pressed B2. See, look. I pressed it. Okay. Come on. I really want to be done with this. Hallelujah! Game saved. Sorry, I like I said, I just don't like this game. So if I seemed overly negative, that's just my that's just my true opinion. I don't like gelatinous. So next up is Lunar Journey. Uh, actually, no, we're not gonna do Lunar Journey. We're doing it this video, but not next. Next up will be the Callitz Gamers Adventure Trilogy. It's another game of the month. Um. Let me actually look at the controls. History, yeah, it was uh, charity stuff. Secret diamond to every level in the second adventure and the lost adventures. And then, and then um, let me look at it in the manual here. It's right next to the Grunio Zerka trilogy, or right before it. Check the shadows for hidden switches. There will off these will often help you find secret collectibles. I don't know what the secret collectibles do. But we're only going to spend a few minutes on each game. So, let's just start the timer. 3, 2, 1, let's pickle. The Callous Gamers Trilogy. See, what is that one red, or that one gold thing right there? How do you get it? It's like the it's a collect it's like a collectible in the first stage that you can't even get. This game is really hard, by the way. The first one. I don't know how I made it through that, but this is a really hard game. I'm just gonna say. I really love the music. See, like, I'm already on my last life. Like, uh, I don't wanna have to just save state through this for this video, but I guess I will. Falling spike. Okay.
Wait, what, how did I get an extra life? Do you get an extra life for finishing a stage? Or maybe it's based off of points. I didn't even see that. <laughs> Wait, where am I? That was like completely seamless. I didn't even think the music restarted. See, how do you get through this? This game is really hard. It is good. Wait. Oh, I think that... Maybe that's an extra life. The diamond. Oh, no, no, I didn't save state. Wait, what? What did that do? Wait, what? See, look at that. It says... Goal times seven. Collecting it, gold times nine. So every, uh, so is it every 10 gold you get a life? But you can't get that and survive. So what's the point? That's very confusing. And we're already at five minutes, so I'm gonna move on to the next game. So we're gonna just save here. This game is hard, so I would have to learn it with save states first before attempting it without save states. Okay. So we're on second adventure and lost adventure are very similar to each other. We're gonna choose normal difficulty. By the way, Kaylee, the this character right here, is inside um, Super Homebrew War on Indie Heroes One, which is a great game. I love that game. I play it all the time. Super Homebrew War. It's one of my favorites.
This would be a good Katie's challenge game. In fact, all these would be. Shouldn't have jumped. Hey. Hey. Um. I'll do this level, then I'll move on to the net. Uh. To the last game in the trilogy. Need to pay attention. Where's the diamond on the stage? I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm not going to actually put the safe state there, but uh, let's reset move on to the last game in the trilogy. Khaled's Gamer's Lost Adventure. Normal. So yeah, same music, same, ex it's the same game. Just different levels. It's like Micro Mages and Micro Mages Second Quest. It's the same game, just different levels. Um, what? It doesn't matter. We'll we'll save. Is Kaylee wearing a mask? I just noticed that. Hold on. This is... This is... I need to know this. In Second Adventure, hold on. This is more important than playing the game. Yeah, look. Kaylee has no mask in this one. You can't... Re maybe you can't really tell on the video. But... Reset. Go over to the Lost Adventure. She's wearing a mask. Even the uh, the icon in the bottom left with her w with her face has a mask on it because it was in 2020. That is hysterical. Sorry, I had to check that. Where so that means this game is hardly going to get any playtime, but Okay. Um we'll do that we'll do this level too.
Where's the uh, level exit? Is it in the bottom right? I don't understand. Do I have to kill the enemy? I do. So the enemies also have gold. Hey look, you can duck in this game. Gray would be happy. Uh, I want to beat the stage before moving on. Uh, oh my god. Or I, or I get a game over. It's one of the two. I'm not going to game over. I have save states. I just want to know how to get that crystal. I think I know how. But, but I wasn't paying attention to everything on the screen. Well, that's obviously not, not how you're supposed to go about getting it. I wonder what is. I wonder if it's just going down here. What's the point of this? Unless you are just supposed to sacrifice a life to get it. Honestly... I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, we're going to move on. So that was the Kalitz Gamers Adventure Trilogy. And I think that there's supposed to be an apostrophe after the S in Gamers. But I'm not too sure about that. So next up is going to be uh, Lunar Journey. I, don't re I hardly remember anything about this game. I remember getting stuck, so that's going to be fun. It's an adventure game for one player. Reach the moon after a long journey. Six important minerals has begun. Okay. History. He owns a complete... Wait, what? You've got 8-bit handheld new games. Good job, too. He owns a complete collection of all the US, Japan, and European releases for the platform. Wow. Don't forget to check your status screen now and again. You need to only keep track of your oxygen level, but also make sure nothing bad is happening to your spacecraft. That never became apparent when I tried it the first time. Also. So I'm not sure what that was about. It only happened like at one part. But maybe I just didn't get far enough. But yeah. Let's see. You might need a bit of creative to get into the aliens only restricted zone. Maybe there's a way you can blend in a little better. That's the tip in the manual. Um, so it's just the only control is B for interact. Okay. Let's just start the timer. Three, two, one. Let's pickle. Green boy. Green boy games. Lunar Journey. You've reached the moon to collect six. Like, remember, go back to the aircraft to refill oxygen. Good luck. Oxygen 10. You have refilled your oxygen. You have 10 oxygen. Okay. This is my last writing from the Apollo 11 mission. Thought I saw a lemonade stand around here. I must be dreaming. Neil Armstrong. So was it true that we arrived to the moon? Or so it was true. SpaceX. SpaceX? How did this get here? Okay. Le lemonade. Limonada. Lemonade. Hello, Taurus. Fancy a lemonade? Yes. The problem is that I have no ice left. I did not expect Taurus so late. If you bring me ice, I'll make you lemonade. Hello, Earthling. Welcome to the moon. Be able while your visit lasts. You cannot access a restricted area. You got the pliers. Out of order. 
the door, seemed, would it be great to lubricate it? Okay. Use the pliers with the chain and open the door. You get the pick. It looks like a box of spare parts. Can't be forced. You need a key. Unreadable paper except Ma New 13425. You can't read more. 13425. What's our oxygen at? 10. Okay. Just painted. What the heck are you doing? Are you taking my keys in front of us? Get away from here. Bucket full of water. Hey, why are you taking our things? We need it. Leave it alone. You got a moldy hot dog. You have already discovered the electrical problem. Fuse is missing in the box. Where can I find one? Hey, someone has entered your aircraft. You must go urgently. Don't you notice the smell of smoke? Hurry up, hurry up. I'm just working. I hardly know what to paint. Working is what makes me hungry. Oh, well, do you want the moldy hot dog? You need water. Hey. Just work hard. I hardly know how to pain working so long makes me hungry. Hey, someone is into your aircraft. You must go urgently. I need a bottle to take the water. So, I'm trying to remember how to do this. Will you give me a bottle? There's an empty bottle, you can take it. Yay! You have filled the empty bottle, you have water. Okay, let's go back to the ship. We're at six minutes. It seems my nap is over. Hey. So we refill the oxygen. Let's make a quick save. We are still working around here. I'm hungry already. Do you have a hot dog? Can you give it to me, please? Yes. Many thanks. I'm going to have lunch for 15 minutes. Hey, where are you going, Bruno? You took the keychain. You have filled the empty bottle. You have water. You took the brush. 
So the key was needed for this. Box full of spare fuses. You've got a fuse. Hey. Well, it fits perfectly. Let's try. Yes, you have turned on the light. Well done, you got iron. Dressing room, authorized personnel only. It is a drawer full of costumes. Do you want to put on a costume? Yes. Do I want to take of the costume? No. Emergency exit. There seems to be a latch on the other side. Okay. So we're already, we're already, uh, oh, I'm stuck. We're at eight and a half minutes. Movement is a little slow in this game, but it's not bad. I actually like, I, I like this game, but I feel like once you beat it once, there's not really a point to play it again. And I think games with replayability or something are like the are better. That's just me. Hello, you look familiar to me. Won't you be Bruno's family? Anyway, you can pass. You need a bar to pry. And then the door seems to be stuck if you were to lubricate it, yeah. And that just says out of order. So I'm trying to remember what to do next. Still can't, I still can't get lemonade, so I still don't have ice. Let's see. I have iron already. Bum, bum, bum. We're already right, 10 minutes. You know what? I think I'm going to go back to the aircraft. And I'm going to call it a trying or whatever. Uh, move on to uh, Ira. You have refilled your oxygen. You have 10 oxygen. So let's quick save and save here. Okay. So let's move on to the last game of this video, which will be Ira the Crow Maiden, the only 16 bit game on this whole cartridge. Otherwise, like everything else is just 8 bit. Okay. So we have, I need to relook at the controls. Jump. Attack with crow, attack with weapon. So weapon crow. Uh, take a young priestess of Koruharu as so she attempts to rescue the warriors of her tribe from the evil infernal marauder. Fight up close and personal selection of weapons or call your crow friend Nun Nunkama to hit far of foes. Ganon's Life is an 8-bit game, but crowdfunding smashed its goals linked to developer porting the game to two 16-bit platforms, one of those 16-bit versions is ready for you to enjoy right now. Different ones have different reaches power levels. You can hit enemies above and behind you with the wide arc of the axis wing. Okay, is there anything in the manual about uh, extra for Ira? Um, fact, Ira, yeah, no, it was just talking about how it started as 8-bit and then got, you know, ported to 16-bit. Ira the Crow Maiden. Okay, secondDimension.com. I remember when I tried this, the volume was off. Like, it was either too loud or too quiet. 
and it's still very loud. And I'm changing the controls. Jump, uh, let's see, jump A, B, C. No, I want jump on B. And attack with A. And then crow on C. Starts to go back. So let's quick save. Start the timer, three, two, one, let's pickle. And we'll start the game. So don't have a lot to say right now. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I can't jump down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm still on the first stage, and we're already four minutes in. Oh, did I just downgrade my sword? I did. So we made it. Uh, Pat, we made it through stage one. Thank you. Thank you. 
I need the axe. Thank you. Hey. Oh, come on. And I have to do all that again, we're already six minutes in. I was, coming off ledges like that is a little finicky. Dodge that one. And I'm dead. I don't know how I missed that jump. Okay. Thank you. What time are we at? Okay, almost at seven minutes already. Oh, and now I got a bigger sword. Nice, not swing. Like, I was pressing. Oh, and it downgraded my sword. Never mind. I almost missed that jump again. because for a second the HDMI connection went away. How do you dodge that attack right there? Does the game allow you to get any more lives? Maybe it's based off of points, because it says I have one life now. I think it was at zero. But I could be wrong. Why did I lose my sword again? I have an axe. The unstoppable axe. How are you do you dodge that? Oh, at least we get a password. Candy Candy Circle Crow. Let's let's try putting that in. 
Wow. These, this intro is really slow. Options. No. Wait, yes. B. A. C. Candy. Candy. Candy, candy, circle. Crow. Hey, and I'm back here. So that's good. Okay. So we're oh, pausing doesn't stop the music. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's it for Ira the Crow Maiden, and that's it for part two of the Indie Heroes Collection too. There's only four more games left to to try out, and in reality, it's only three because we still have Yaya yeah, yeah, Beebus two, which was uh, a game of the month, and then just these three games: Beer Slinger, Nyx, and Grunio Zerka Trilogy. So yeah, but um, that's it for Indie Heroes Collection two part two. Uh, overall, uh, I would say I I overall I'd say this is a really good cartridge, except for gelatinous. <laughs> but that's just me personally. There you go again, hating on gelatinous. What's wrong with you? Okay, but I'm gonna go. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a nice time. I'm Joshua Six Hundred. I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to me here on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch, where you can watch this stuff live. And yeah, okay, goodbye. <laughs>